Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather outbreak potential for later this afternoon into the evening hours across portions of the northern plains. I'm going to give you the latest timing, the intensity, and as well as everything that you need to know will all be included in this forecast. Before we get too far into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. We are closing in on 10,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. All right, let's get right into it. So as of right now, there is a slight risk of severe weather. That does include anywhere in North Dakota, goes into Minnesota as well, and portions of northwestern Wisconsin. There's also a slight risk of severe weather back out in northeastern Wyoming. Now, the main threats today will be damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. Hail may be up to the size of hen eggs, and there's also a chance for a few tornadoes. And that will primarily be in Minnesota this afternoon into the evening hours. There's also a low-end chance for those in northwestern Wisconsin. So again, that would include areas like Minneapolis, for example. There might be a couple of tornadoes around that region. Overall, my forecast as of now is about two to three tornadoes is kind of my forecast for this area later this this afternoon. Here's a look at the timing for this afternoon. We'll start to see showers and storms developing around 2 to 3 o'clock. We've already seen that line of storms go through portions of northeastern Minnesota this morning. That is all shifting out now off to Canada, and it's all going to be moving off to the east and northeast. By 3 o'clock, though, the storm activity will start near Fargo. Eventually, by 4 to 5 o'clock, more potent storms, stronger and more severe storms will develop. Again, low-level jet will be strengthening through the afternoon and evening hours. That will allow for that potential for rotating supercells, which could potentially produce a tornado or two later today. Again, this is your area where we'll start to see potentially a couple of those cells rotating. By 6 to 7 o'clock, storms are moving down to the east and southeast, and eventually by 8 o'clock, storms closing in on areas like St. Cloud, Minneapolis, and eventually by 9 to 10 o'clock, well, storms will start to shift their way into Wisconsin, which again, overall threat in Wisconsin will mainly be damaging winds. I don't expect too much in terms of tornado threat, but I cannot rule out maybe an isolated tornado. Other than that, after midnight, we'll start to see all that storm activity move down to the south and east. A little bit of a look from uh, Wisconsin, for example, we'll start to see some more shower and storm activity off in far northern portions of the state eventually all moving down to the south and east that might produce some isolated to maybe widely scattered damaging winds upwards of maybe 60 miles per hour that'll all move through green bay probably overnight tonight here's a look at the low level jet by the way as i kind of mentioned before strengthening low level jet you can see the purples and pinks and whatnot that's representing a bit more of a low to moderate end of a uh, low level jet and overall that's where we will probably see our little peak of maybe some tornado activity later this evening most likely somewhere in this area that's kind of my forecast but again can't rely maybe a tornado or two off to the north of that and believe it or not we actually have a marginal threat for severe weather in southeastern texas and southern louisiana the main threats down this way maybe some isolated damaging winds or very isolated quarter to half dollar sized hail here's a look at the timing for this afternoon three to four o'clock some showers and storms will develop pretty similar to yesterday what they saw in north texas it'll be a very similar event overall by eight to nine o'clock storms doing through areas like houston again if any of these cells become a little bit stronger i cannot rely isolated quarter to half dollar sized hail and maybe some isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 to 65 miles per hour all the shower and storm activity will fizzle out before midnight tonight all right let's take a look at the severe weather for tomorrow there is a slight risk for severe weather that does include illinois northeastern uh, missouri as well as a marginal threat that goes into uh, michigan and it goes all the way back out in the central plains and includes areas as far west as actually colorado the main threats in this area tomorrow will be damaging winds upwards of 65 miles per hour and possibly a little bit of large hail overall though the threat will be pretty low here's a look at the timing for tomorrow evening in areas over in the midwest eventually by six to seven o'clock a more prominent line of storms will develop probably from chicago maybe over as far east again as michigan eventually by eight to nine o'clock those storms move down to the south and east champagne starting to see some showers and storms by 10 as well as lafayette seeing those storms eventually by 11 to 12 o'clock that line moves down to the south toward indianapolis and eventually going to the overnight hours some showers and storms maybe crossing into southern indiana and southern illinois severe weather is not really expected though after about midnight tomorrow all right let's take a look at the timing off back into the Kansas area. Overall, storms will remain very isolated in this area. You can see by 5 o'clock, maybe a couple of isolated storms. Again, if any storms are able to develop, though, anywhere in Kansas, by the way, not just this area, but anywhere, uh, they would possibly produce that threat for maybe some strong downburst winds of 60 miles per hour. Eventually, after 8 to 9 o'clock, most storm activity is forecasted to kind of fizzle out. Real quick, a little outlook going into Tuesday. There is a slight risk for severe weather for those in New York, Pennsylvania, as well as western and southern portions of Vermont and western Massachusetts. A more Marginal risk does include almost all of New England, excluding most of Maine, and as well as going into the southwest, it goes as far southwest as eastern Kentucky. Main threats will mostly be damaging winds. Again, all these storms are going to be moving off to the east and northeast going into Tuesday. All right, make sure you stay updated again with Max Velocity here for the latest. We'll probably go live today. If not, we will be live possibly either Monday or Tuesday. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dense Repair.